right. If we had to leave uh, the kid in the hood that's listening, right? The kid that's in yeah. the trailer park that, you know, the environment might look, look a little bleak, right? Or even one of our uh, persons, young people that might be locked up, right? But they they got time to learn about this stuff, right? Can we leave mm -hmm. uh, them with at least five basic vocabulary, Bitcoin, not Bitcoin, but um, digital currency words to look into mm -hmm. that can help increase Ooh. their vocabulary and open up a portal of knowledge if they just knew these five basic things. Blockchain was a big one for me, so I could definitely got Oh, yeah. But if there are any, any others you have that they definitely just need to know, that's going to help them grow their knowledge, man. Oh, that is a great question. Great question, Corey. Uh, let's see, so uh, terminologies, I would say blockchain is a big one. I, okay. I would definitely tell people to study and, and, and learn about what the blockchain is and, and, and how transparent and safe and beneficial it can actually be. Um, you know, so blockchain is one. And let me stop on that one. Well, our brothers is out there, all right. <laughs> Thinking about making money different ways, right? On the block, mm -hmm. right? that's going to end up getting you in a chain, right? Gotcha. Let's go and flip it. Let's look at this blockchain instead. All right, that's for anybody that's thinking about doing any any illegal activities to get get some money to come up. Let's look at this blockchain instead. Number two. Bro. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love how you just yeah yeah get off the block, stay out of the chains, man, and, and learn and learn about the real blockchain, man. That's right. this is the one that's gonna get this is the one that's gonna get you paid. That's okay. one of your podcast titles right there, man. The real blockchain. Right. <laughs> the real blockchain. <laughs> All right. Uh, another one, another word I would say is uh, uh, ledger. You know, learn right. learn what a ledger, L-E-D-G-E-R. Gotcha. Um, I would say also, essentially, a ledger is something that essentially tracks information, right? It could be data. Yeah. It could be currencies, whatever. So that, there's another one. Uh, I would say um, after Ledger, learn what a the difference between a uh, learn what a hardware wallet, hardware okay. two words, hardware wallet. Uh, look into that. That's really important. And essentially, that hardware wallet is a a, a specific device that you are going to hold your cryptocurrency on, right? Where it's safe. Right. And, and, and again, you can transact and this is, this is something that you keep. It's, it's offline, right? It, it's, 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 uh, only in your possession, you know, but hardware wallet would be another, uh, another big one. Um, well, quick, right. So that hardware wallet, is that any difference from, oh, oh, let me pull it up right quick. Cause I got a, I got my iPhone right now. Right. And I'm getting into the wallet. Right. Is that yes, the same thing? Kind of like that the, the the iPhone wallet that just got your credit cards and everything. Uh, I see, I see a little bit different. Uh, so the, okay. the, the wallet, the, the hardware wallet. I'm technically Corey, your your phone is going to be the the segue to where you can download your wallet. You actually, your phone is is super important. You're, you you okay. you can download not only the apps uh, like Coinbase and others, but your 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 phone or your tablet you know if you don't want to carry anything around with you and keep any of your uh digital currency information on your actual phone um uh, right. you, you can also use a tablet or something else but uh yes your phone is a a great segue into uh uh creating that digital wallet so you have it on you all you can see what's going on in real time you okay. can make your trans transfers just like you you would uh you know, if you were transferring money from your bank, you know, from one account to another, uh, you can do the exact same thing with digital currency uh, throughout that wallet. You can you can actually have more than one wallet. Right. You, you can have a hardware wallet, like I said, which is an actual device. The hardware wallet is a device. Um, but wallets in general, um, you can have multiple wallets. Right. So you can have. One wallet for long term investing where you keep. All, you know your Bitcoin on it. You don't touch it. You can create another separate software wallet um, where you can create another uh, wallet of Bitcoin on that. That may be okay. one you want to trade. You want to trade, or you want to transfer. You know, or use for uh, purchases or whatnot. So okay. um, there like are that, companies. Kind of like having a savings account and a checking account. One is going kind to of short term. Uh, one. 
One hundred percent. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Uh, um, so uh, I say soft. Yeah. So hardware wallet, uh, software wallet. You know, that's that's another one. Software wallet because there are, there's a difference between the two. Okay. Uh, one, one is one is online and one is an actual physical one that you can hold, like a hardware wallet. Yeah. Okay. The hardware wallet is the one you keep at home, right? You can hold it. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, software wallet, you can keep it on your phone or uh, online. You know, you can get to it from the web if you need to as well. So. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. How many is that? Is that four? That's is that four? four? And we need one more. Four. <laughs> um. All right. I'm gonna give you one more terminology, and I'm gonna give you this terminology. Because I want people to stay away from from this, uh, and and it's called a. Uh, I'll give you the abbreviation first. It's uh, CBDC. That's okay. uh, Charlie Charlie Delta Bravo Charlie CBDC, okay. right? Uh, which stands for um, uh, Central Bank Digital Currency, right? Central this is this is yes, C, yeah, uh, CBDC Central Bank digital currency. Okay. And the only reason I'm bringing this I'm bringing this one up because I want the listeners to know about it because this is something that is happening that the, that the that our governments are working on right now. Um and so what what the government wants to do is they want to create these CBDC uh account wallet accounts uh to essentially track everything. Mm. Everything we do, all of our transactions, uh, you, you you know how the U.S. is able to sanction uh, certain countries, you know, that use the dollar to where they they, we, they can cut them off. Right. right. That's one of the, the, the that's one of the things I worry about. And one of the dangers of these CBDCs is uh, it's given the government essentially complete access to any transactions you make. And, and you know, God forbid, if you want to, you know try to grab your passport and go to another country or something or, or, or whatever, you know, right. your funds can, your funds can essentially be frozen. Right. Um, just like these other countries that get sanctioned. So CBDCs okay. are bad. And I, so I, I, that's one I really want people to put an asterisk by it. You know, CBDCs are bad. The right. governments and, and, and the fed, a lot of, they're really trying to push it to make that work. Uh, but it's, it's, and it's totally opposite of what crypto allows you to do, which is, you know, crypto gives you that freedom. Again, there is no, there is no central authority. Like you own your currency, you own your digital currency, you own your wallet. It's all you. Nobody can touch it. Nobody can freeze it. Uh, really? Nobody can. You understand? No, nobody okay. can sanction it or anything like that. So, okay, um, that's a big one. I would say, see, just read up on what a CBDC is, so at least we're educated and we know. Um, to stay away from those.